What's the correlation between the dollar and, and, and treasuries now that the USD is moving up? And are there implications for quad three or quad four? Fantastic question. Again, uh, not a good question, not a great question, a fantastic question. This happens every time in the fourth quadrant. Josephine, if you can show uh, the cue, uh, when, when we show where we go from quad three to quad one, that's very deflationary. So in other words, the dollar goes up and rates go down. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's on slide 58, 59, 50, and 60. We 50, can kind of, 59. 59, we can show you again. Uh, oh, not that one, sorry, that's, 60. 60. That's, that's relevant as well. Go to the next one. There we go. 60. So you see the dollar up, rates down. That's the fourth quadrant. That's market history. That's not our opinion. We go with what, you know, there are behavioral factors uh, that matter so much more than what people think. I mean, if you're gonna ask a bunch of people who are linear forecasters who anchor on the past, what's gonna happen next, uh, you're going to lose a lot of money. I can guarantee you. It. I've, I've done it. Um, but as you get older and you mature in the business, you, you, you figure out who not to listen to. And Mr. History is a really important guide to Mr. Market. And that's, you know, those two, you know, and, I, and maybe it's Mrs. History. I don't know. The women are much smarter than men, obviously. I mean, certainly in my, in my household. I mean, this is the key. I mean, use history as your guide. If you have the growth forecast that we have, you are in the fourth quarter. If you don't, if you think, oh, it kind of feels like, you know, two to two and a half. You just keep on feeling, buddy. Keep feeling, because that's not what the data is tracking towards. 